Hey everyone, it's Keely here and today I'm joining in a YouTube hop with um, a bunch of scrappy YouTubers which um, I will add all the links to the other videos below so please do check those out and join in with our hop. Um, we do have a theme for the hop which is um, favourite escape um, so obviously this can be lots of different things for different people um now i'm not much of a traveler we do we do go on holidays every so often um to a caravan we love going to morecambe here in the uk um we have family over there so it's always really nice to go and visit um but obviously with the pandemic um over the past year um we haven't been on holiday um and obviously not many of us have had the chance to go away um so I, I kind of had to think before I started this and I thought, what has been kind of my favourite escape in the last 12 months, during, especially during the pandemic um, when we've all been stuck at home and we haven't been allowed to travel? Um, so for me, um, my favourite escape is definitely getting out and about with my dog Spud. Um, I love walking him. It's just so relaxing taking him out. Um, he's an old dog. Um, he's now nine. He'll be ten this year. Um, so he's he's not very like excitable. Um, on walks, he's not very pulley on the lead and things like that. Um, so definitely for me, my favorite escape has been able to get out of the house and walk the dog every day. Um, and just enjoy a nice walk with him. So I picked a photograph of him that I took during a walk. Um, on this walk, he um, he just got his new patches for his harness, uh, which state that he's friendly um, because of the breed of dog that he is. Um, I did find a lot of people avoided us um, and a lot of people took their dogs away um, when really Spud loves to meet people and dogs. So... Um, we've noticed a massive difference with him wearing his patches on his harness um, and he's met so many more um, dogs on walks and things which he really loves. He really loves to interact with other animals. So what I've done so far is I've added a border um, to my white cardstock. I love adding borders and I always distress the edges as well uh, just to add some texture. And then out of the same pattern paper I've made a large tag um and um i just really like the color of this paper um there's a lot of green in it um there's quite a lot of green in my photograph with the grass behind spud and his patch is green as well um so green's not a color i use that often so it was quite nice to do something slightly different and i'm using the reaching out collection by jen hadfield um and i've pulled out quite a few embellishments that i thought may work for this page um, and I've got them in a pile on my desk and I'm just now filtering through and seeing what I want to use on my layout. Um, I'm thinking this hello piece might be part of my title. Um, I've got a little globe which says, I think it says let's go on an adventure or something about exploring or something along those lines. Um, there is a paintbrush with some leaves on. I didn't really want the brush but I like the, um, the leaves and things on there. Um, and I'm sticking with the greens and the light blue as well in colour and I've added in some navy as well um, and gold. Um, I'm having now a look at the um, the the form thickers and um, they're not just alphabets, they're phrases and icons and things so I'm seeing what may work from those. Um, I like the colour of this banner um, but I don't need the full banner so I'm going to cut off the little banner edge and just tuck that in under my photo for a pop of blue to that side um and the reason i've brought in some navy is because the thickers for this collection are navy blue so i wanted to add a bit more of the dark color on the page and not just in the title um, i've got some word pieces here um which i should have took my layout out actually so that i can read the phrases um Let's have a look. On the globe, it says adventure awaits and um, the green phrase sticker says joy in your company, which is so true. I love spending time with my dog and I care about you, which again is so, 
you know so true for this page um now i'm pulling in um my the rest of my title i am going to go with hello um and then the rest of my title is going to read friendly boy um and that's because obviously i am documenting the fact that he's met a lot more animals on our walks because of his uh, patch on his harness um a lot more people will approach us now and greet him which he really does love um and um so that's going to be my title but obviously i am going to journal about how much i love um going on walks with him and spending time with him um i've now gone off camera and what i've done is i've added um a machine stitched border in just white thread around the edge of my page <clears throat> And I've also fussy cut around the die cuts because I do find that um, on a lot of die cuts, the borders are really thick. Um, and although I do like a white border, I don't like them to be really thick that they're kind of taking over the layout. <laughs> um, so I have just trimmed all those down um, and I like them a lot better. And now I'm starting to commit to sticking the embellishments down. Um, I've popped a few things up on form and I've stuck some things flat as well. Um, I decided to change out the die cut um, hello piece and I've gone for the form thicker piece instead, which is just the same. It's just slightly bigger um, and um, it's raised off the page. And I just wanted a little bit of something popped up rather than uh, my whole title being flat. Um, and now I'm just coming back in with my thickers again um, and trying to get them as straight as I can using my T-square ruler. Um, I think I should have moved it down just a touch, but, um, you know, it's all stuck down now. So I, I've left, I've left that as it is. Um, and I do think this title is kind of perfect for uh, the story of this page and the photo that I'm documenting. Um, because he is he's such a friendly boy he loves everyone he loves um you know people he loves children he loves um cats we have two cats <laughs> and he loves those he loves other dogs um we do look after my mum's dog um quite often um and he's met a lot of other dogs over the years that he's met um that my friends all seem to <laughs> to ask me to dog sit um if they need you know if they need to go away or things like that so he's met a lot of dogs over the years and he's just so he's just such a good boy he really is um so it's my title now stuck down like i said i probably should have moved it down a touch um but i have left it as it is <clears throat> i'm going to come in with some twine for my tag um i don't think a tag's finished without a bit of twine in um, and I'm going to attempt to tie it in a bow. Now, I do fiddle for a little while, um, but I do get it right in the end. Um, and I really like how that looks. I think it just it's just something pretty on the page. Um, and in the twine, there's um, like some gold strands as well. So it's another pop of the gold, uh, which is running through the page. Um, the arrow that I've got to the side as well, that's got gold foil on and it's a lovely gold as well. It's not like a really bright in your face gold. It's more of a matte gold and I really like that. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just trimming down my twine. That's my bow. I think it looks really pretty. Um, I'm going to add some form under the top of my tag again, just to add um, some different levels on the page. <clears throat> Um, and next, I think I'm going to come in with some, oh no, my cats make an appearance instead. That's one of my cats, Pippa. Um, she she must have been feeling needy on this day. Uh, she does, she's not a cat that likes a lot of attention. Um, but when she does, she can be really, really needy. <laughs> um, I want all the cuddles, you know, just walk straight across my page um, and leave her cat fluff everywhere. <laughs> Um, obviously she must have been getting jealous of me talking so much about Spud in this video. She was like, what about me? <laughs> um, I'm now bringing in some sequins in gold again, just to add a bit more sparkle. Um, you, you know, a scrapbook layout can't have enough sparkle. Um, and as well, you know, I don't have any enamel dots or anything for this collection. So, um, for sprinkly bits, I am using, um, sequins instead. And then I'm going to finish off with 
some gold splatters using my Jen Hadfield um, Gold Mist. Um, I love this stuff. Um, I've actually stocked up on a few extra bottles as well in case I ever run out. <laughs> um, so yeah, please do check out um, all the links in the description below. Here are my close-ups. If you liked my video today, please um, give me a thumbs up and uh, press that subscribe button as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.